Chalk Talk is brought to you by Isolite, the emergency lighting experts. Stay educated, my friends. Walt Disney once famously said, the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. We're really excited about today's Chalk Talk because we've done exactly that based on some feedback that we've had in the marketplace for the last couple of years, candidly, on, on a product that's been a hole in our lineup that we're very, very excited to fill here in the next coming weeks. Good morning, everyone. I'm Matt Bird, Eastern Regional Sales Manager, along with Greg Keel, our West Regional Manager, who is out on the West Coast this morning. Uh, Evan Ackman, who heads up our product development team, will be running with the Chalk Talks this morning. But uh, Evan, go ahead and take it away, sir. Thank you, uh, Matt and Greg, and also thank you for not singing at the beginning of this. I think that would have maybe turned off our, our valued participants here. And thank you all for joining us this month, uh, this late February Chalk Talk. As uh, Matt mentioned, we're going to be talking about a new product here today. Um, it's You can see it right there. It's really for architectural door illumination. So this Generally, we're going to be talking about doors here today and the different types of doors and what that means for emergency lighting writ large. But in order to do that, I want to just be a little bit more broad in my scope and I want to just talk about uh, architectural exterior illumination. And that's really going to sort of pave the way for this conversation because I'd like to start by talking about the owl a little bit, about inverters, and really sort of describe you know, what they're good at and maybe some of their limitations, which will lead us right into the discussion on those new products there, the ODLM and the ODLE. And so once we get to that, we'll talk about what those products are, sort of their, uh, the applications that they fit into and uh, their sort of features that come along with them. At the end, we'll talk about sales support, particularly when these products will be available and when some of the documentation and pricing will be available. We have a couple planned release dates for those uh, over the next couple weeks, so look for that. We'll also talk about the supporting documents they're going to provide. Um, that'll go hand in hand with the availability because we'll talk about when all of those documents will be out there on our website. And then, as always, we will end with uh, throwing our contact information up and making sure that you guys know how to get in touch with us should you want to talk about anything else uh, that we do. As always, this is a Chalk Talk, so you guys are muted. Um, that's never been better for a Chalk Talk than right now to keep Matt and Greg from singing. But uh, if you guys do have questions, please throw them in the chat, throw them in the Q&A, and we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we answer absolutely everything before we get off this call. So let's just jump right into the subject of doors. Now, this is going to be a very drastic oversimplification, but I really think that there's two different types of doors, and this will probably offend all of the, uh, the architects out there uh, who think that every door is like a you know, sweet special child that is unique and different. And that is true, but for the simplification in a 15 minute chalk talk, we're going to consider really two different types of doors, sort of a traditional door that's maybe, um, you know, a wooden door that's inside of masonry, maybe it's a steel door, but the surround is sort of, you know, not super architectural, you can kind of see our little schoolhouse over there on the right, and then our glass surrounded doors, the more architectural doors, things that you would see in applications like um, maybe sort of the entryways to hotels uh, or to maybe corporate office buildings like high rises. Um, a little bit different of an application there. And so we wanna really consider both of these things. For the purposes of our you know, somewhat drastic oversimplification, we're gonna just talk about traditional doors uh, as walls, right? That's obviously a, a very simple version of it. But what it means is, is that traditional doors, traditional solutions will work with them. And so that leads us right into the owl, like you see in our picture to the right, sort of very traditional door masonry exterior the owl mounts right to that and the mallet the owl is very good right it's uh you know it has supports crazy mounting heights you can go up to 14 feet it's a wall pack in addition to an emergency light it comes in uh, those multiples of colors the white black the brushed aluminum and the bronze and it has those sort of exterior uh, features that you would expect. It's got a very warm color temperature. So if you're installing this light in a place where sea turtles are laying their eggs or there's wildlife restrictions around, that, that warm color temperature is not going to run you afoul of legislation in those areas. And it also has a full cutoff. So you're not going to have a, uh, a light pollution issues in places where there are dark sky initiatives. But that really comes with some limitations associated with it, frankly. 
you can see the picture of the owl there. It's, um, I wouldn't describe it as large, uh, but it really wants to mount to a wall specifically. Um, and it's really designed as an emergency light first. And so it has a beam angle that's really appropriate for that. So, you know, you're never going to get a long forward throw out into the front of the device. It's really designed to throw light, you know, crazy long distances along the side of the building. Really the, the goal being to just get people past that sort of six or eight foot mark to get them to that safe right of way um, away from the building. And so, you know, very emergency light focused, um, sort of very masonry wall focused. And that focus really runs it afoul of some of the things that we might want to be doing uh, in these more architectural, these sort of glass facade type installations. First and foremost, um, it really won't even mount to the mullion like you see above those doors right there because it's too large and it doesn't have uh, an internal wiring compartment for wire terminations. It needs a box behind it. And so, you know, what you'd end up having to do here is you'd have to mount a box to the mullion and then mount the owl to that. And the, sh the shape and size of it isn't really appropriate, right? It's a little bit too large. A mullion is going to be maybe three inches thick. The owl at, you know, six or seven inches thick is going to overhang that. It's going to look just a little bit goofy. Uh, you know, potentially it could compromise that neoprene gasket behind there. So these applications really require a product that is dedicated for mullion mounts. Um, the other thing that is important in applications like this is because it's going to be sort of a, a front door where these things will be installed, that very short light throw isn't really appropriate. You might want something that has a longer forward throw or maybe just a different throw than what the owl is, uh, is capable of delivering. And so these very specific applications and their mounting types require sort of specific solutions. And, you know, I guess my first point would be that the inverter is really a great way to accomplish this, right? You've got lights there anyway, right? The, uh, the engineer, the architect, the lighting designer has put architectural lights around that facade. They've, they've considered the illumination um, sort of for general occupancy and general use. We may as well just keep those lights on in an emergency and the inverter is going to be able to do that for you. Now, we also recognize that you know, there are a lot of, you know, areas around the country, via, you know, for preference, you know, potentially uh, perceived cost uh, that just won't work or it won't fly. Maybe you don't have room for an inverter uh, in the application. And so that is why we are excited to announce the ODLM and the ODLE. And uh, we realized after we named these and started talking about it out loud that if you say those uh, over and over quickly, it does sound a lot like yodeling. So that's going to entertain, uh, hopefully, you and potentially your customers as you're doing some ODLE, ODLMs uh, out there in front of them. But these fixtures are really purpose built for that second type of door, that architectural door, that glass facade that we have in the building. And so we really lead with the ODLM here. This is a dedicated mullion mounted light. It acts as both an emergency light and an architectural light. And it sort of solves those problems. One, the first, obviously, it mounts directly to a mullion. It is sized and shaped in such a way that that's appropriate. It utilizes a remote power supply so that all of that termination can be done in the mullion and it keeps everything sort of low voltage in there. But it also has that longer forward throw that's required for those sort of entryway type applications. So you're going to get those problems and those architecture, architectural application specific things that you're going to need out of this product. We have an EM and an AC version. So EM, if you need the battery locally, if you do have an inverter, but you want this dedicated light um, for that application, we have an AC only version. So that's how you do that. And, you know, these are designed for outdoor use. You sort of see that in the, uh, you know, the cold and wet location aspects of it, but nothing precludes them from being used indoors. Now I said we lead with the ODLM. Where does that leave the, uh, the other half of our Yodel, uh, the ODLE? We know that not every uh, every spot on a building is going to be a door. And so this is for aesthetic matching in those applications that don't have to mount to emollient. So this is really a more traditional exterior mounted 
uh, emergency slash wall pack type device. Now, it doesn't really look like a wall pack, so you're going to have to consider that versus the owl for those applications. But, you know, if you need matching aesthetic in a non mullion uh, setting, the ODLE is the one that you want. And so jumping right over to sort of the specs, these do come in 10 and 20 watt versions. This is going to be very similar between these two different uh, different products. So you're going to see me say this twice. It has that same benefit about that full cutoff design. So if you have an application where you've got a dark sky initiative you're worried about, these are full cutoff, so you can't get direct light up uh, from the top of it. So that's good. Um, it's IP66, so it's capable of being rained on and sprayed and uh, you know, spray with the hose and clean. So outdoor applications are really what we're focused on here. And by default, these sh these uh, devices ship at 5,000 or 5,000 degrees Kelvin. Uh, but we have lens filters that we've uh, we found that will allow us to run these uh, at lower color or warmer color temperatures. So 2,900 degrees, 3,200 degrees, and 3,800 degrees Kelvin. So again, if you're in that sea turtle nesting zone in South Florida and you have to have very warm lights on exteriors, those lens kits are going to be the thing that allow you to achieve success there. You can see the, uh, the nomenclature down at the bottom. That includes things like housing colors. So these are available in brushed white and black. The ODLM really only mounts to a mullion. Then it has the other, um, the other features that you would expect for an emergency light. So things like self-diagnostics, uh, some extended run times with that EB option. And then the AC version has dual circuit versions for our friends out in the, uh, the city of LA where that's a requirement uh, for, for devices of this type. A little bit more of the same over here on the ODLE side. Again, remember this one mounts a little bit differently. You're going to see that down there in that mounting field down below. But same basic features of this device, 10 and 20 watts, that full cutoff design, still de designed to be used outside. A little bit uh, different color temperature on these lights, but the same lens filters to, uh, to get us down lower. But now we actually get wall and ceiling mounting. The reason why this is a little bit different from the ODLM I mentioned before that the ODLM utilizes a remote power supply, so you can mount that thing, you know, 100, 200, 300 feet away, depending on the gauge of the wire that you're using. This device is actually designed to have the power supply directly behind the unit, sort of into the wall. And so that's why you see the additional option here of that internal heater, because now the power supply also could potentially be outside. That's where the battery is going to be. So now it's going to be exposed to the cold that the light is going to be exposed to. So that's where we bring in that internal heater option here. Other than that, the options are sort of the same. We lose the ability to, to, to do two hour run times because of the, uh, the mounting of it. So it's always going to be a 90 minute device. Um, but other than that, everything is the same. The colors, AC and EM, 10 and 20 watts, and then with that matched up aesthetic there. So in terms of when all of this stuff is available and when you can expect more information from us, uh, next week we're going to have these documents posted to the web. So that'll be the, uh, the cut sheets, the web page itself, um, and the installation manuals. Um, it's really next week. We'll probably have it for Monday, but it might be Tuesday. Uh, you're going to see the pricing page and the quoting ability through the, uh, the, web, the, the web portal uh, the week following. So that first full week of March. That's when the Chalk Talk follow-up will go out. That will have the price book page attached to it. At that point, through isolite.dev, you'll be able to price these things out and quote it. And then the product will be available for ordering um, that week of 313. So just before Pi Day, Einstein's birthday, you can, uh, you can start to place orders for these, these devices. So as I mentioned, the same things that you're uh, sort of expecting will be online next week. That's those cut sheets, again, the installation. Um, we'll have some pictures posted at that point. And then as a follow up, in addition to the standard stuff that we do, that is the, uh, the slide deck that you're seeing right now, as well as the audio of me giving the presentation, we'll send out those specification sheets, that media kit, as well as the price book page for these devices. So you'll have all of that here in the next couple of weeks with the ability to order it in, um, I guess, just a little over three weeks. With that said, I certainly appreciate your attention this morning. Thank you for tuning in with us. Um, we certainly appreciate you guys and all that you're doing for us. So if you want to learn more about this product or anything else that we do, please don't hesitate to reach out to Greg, Matt, or myself. You know, we're certainly uh, comfortable and happy to assist and support you guys in any way 
possible. I will stick around for questions. Otherwise, enjoy the uh, the rest of your week, the rest of your February, your short month, and um, you know we're it's it's Lent, so it's almost Easter, almost spring, maybe more importantly. <laughs> <laughs>